Energy never really goes away. It just changes forms. Consider the bowler. When our bowler draws his arm back, all that chemical energy inside his muscles is transformed into mechanical energy. He transfers that energy to the ball. When he swings the ball forward and releases it, he unleashes kinetic energy. The result? Major energy transfer. Mayhem amongst the pins and lots of work done. No energy has been lost. And why? Because it's the law. The law of conservation of mass and energy. I thought I'd better find out more about this law of conservation of mass and energy. For that, I turned to Mr. Physics himself, Albert Einstein. In 1905, he stated that energy can't be created or destroyed. It just changes forms. In other words, whenever the amount of energy in one place decreases, the energy in another place increases by an equal amount. Everywhere around you, this law is obeyed. The water in a waterfall has tons of potential energy at the top. It's transferred to kinetic energy as it falls. As the potential energy decreases, the kinetic energy increases. But all along the way, the water still has the same total amount of energy. At the bottom of the falls, this same energy is now in the motion of the water, crashing and splashing on the rocks below and speeding downstream. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It's simply converted or changed into different forms. It's the same all over the universe. Energy keeps changing form, but the total amount of energy remains the same. Could I prove that energy is never lost, but is instead transferred from one place to another? I was determined to find out. I would test whether an increase in energy in one object would show up as a decrease in energy in another object. For this experiment, I needed a golf ball and a ping pong ball, a firm surface, like a hard floor, a piece of long white tape marked in meters stuck to the wall, two different colored marking pens, green to mark the results for the golf ball and red for the ping pong ball. The first thing I did was predict how high I thought each ball would bounce. I figured the golf ball would go higher since it was heavier. I marked the point I thought the golf ball would reach on its bounce. Next, I marked the point I thought the ping pong ball would reach. Then I was ready. I dropped each ball from shoulder height. First the golf ball, Then the ping pong ball. 